Hey guys and welcome back. So for today's video, I am super excited. I know I say that in probably every video, but legit, I am actually so excited to try out these products. What I do have to try out today is these um, three Drunk Elephant hair care products. And I did purchase these myself. Um, I ordered them from Sephora. So what I'll be doing today is I will be talking a little bit about these products and I'm gonna go get a shower. And then I'm gonna come back once I am all ready for the day and hair is done and tell you what I thought about the products and how my hair feels and all of that fun stuff. But before I get right into the video, if you guys wanted to hit that subscribe button and possibly ring the bell if you want to see future uploads by me, that's up to you. But it would help me so much if you guys subscribed to my channel and that would really help me out. Okay, so I do have some notes here. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. First off, I'm going to start off by saying that this is actually a collaboration. This is by Drunk Elephant and Chris McMillan. And this video is not sponsored. This was not sent to me. I did purchase all three of these myself um, from Sephora.ca. And I just want to also say that there are four products. I know I only have three. There are four that came out. The other one is almost like a scalp and kind of dual body scrub kind of thing but I don't really use that so I figured I would get much use out of these three here as opposed to that other product so I just let that one go. Okay so as you can probably see as I was holding them they do all come in these kind of slender rectangular um, product packages which I kind of like because if you were storing these in a vanity they can all sit kind of like this instead of like a big round packaging um, so I do really like the packaging and it's something different and clean and sleek and I love how they continued on with their theme of just almost like white packaging with the different colored neon tops and also on these guys here the shampoo and conditioner um, the top does just kind of flick open like that and then you can just squirt out your product and of course the spray has a spray pump. And I also want to point out that the shampoo and the conditioner, they all come with the exact same product amount. They all come with eight ounces or 240 milliliters worth of product. So these two are exactly the same. This one on the other hand comes with exactly half of the product. So this one comes with four ounces and then 120 milliliters worth of product. And the interesting thing is all three of these all cost the exact same price. So for me, it cost for all three of these, it was $33 Canadian each. And of course, plus tax. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was kind of interesting how this has half the amount of product and this is the exact same price, 33 Canadian dollars same as the shampoo and the conditioner. Getting into some of the research and some of the nitty gritty stuff about these products, I didn't wanna to go too, too deep because I didn't want this to be super, you know, scientific. If you guys are interested, they have all the information listed on the Sephora website under these products, but I did take a couple of things just to read to you guys. Okay, so this one is the Kogomino Glossing Shampoo and right below it, it does say cleanse and balance. So I'm just gonna read you like a little blurb that I got here. It is a sulfate free color safe nourishing shampoo that removes product buildup so that's always good um, without damaging the hair shaft for smooth shiny hair so that's a pretty good you know well-rounded statement for a shampoo I think um, and this is for all hair types so it does specify that it's for straight wavy curly or coily hair and I believe all of all three of these products have the exact same thing They're for all hair types and also the hair texture is for fine medium and thick hair so again the exact same for the hair types and the hair textures all across the board for all three of these products. And this one states that the key benefits for the shampoo, um, it hydrates, protects against damage and split ends, breakage, and of course it is color safe. So when I look for a shampoo and conditioner, I do look for color safe because as you can see, my hair is, um, it does have highlights and foils, so it is bleached. So I look for something that doesn't take you know like the toning out of my hair that doesn't make it yellow so I do really like that about this but the funny thing is when I was reading um how to use this of course everyone knows how to use shampoo but it did state not to repeat um, washing after you do the first initial shampoo because I know a lot of shampoos if you read the back it'll say repeat the process if necessary like after you shampoo and rinse go back in again if you want a second lather but this one specifically said do not repeat so I found that kind of interesting I have no idea why but for that sake I'm not going to be repeating my shampoo <laughs> 
Okay, so moving on to the Cocomino Marula Cream Conditioner. Again, like I said before, $33 and the same um, amount of product in this one as the shampoo. So this one says, it is a concentrated nourishing blend of non-fragrant plant oils and butters to soften, smooth, and detangle all hair types. So again, the hair types all across the board, straight, wavy, curly, and coily. Um, hair texture are all three, fine, medium, and thick. Hydrates, protects against damage, split ends, and breakage, and again, color safe. So pretty much the same key benefits of the shampoo. And also, um, both of these products do say that they're lightweight liquid, so there's not going to be super heavy, you know, formulations. I do kind of like that if things are lightweight, so I'm curious to see how they're going to lather up and rinse out. Okay, so last but not least is the Tangle Spray. So this one is called the Wild Marula Tangle Spray, and below it, this says Detangle and Heat Protect, which is really good because every day I am mostly straightening my hair and sometimes curling my hair, and of course, almost every day I am blow drying my hair. So I really do need something that has heat protection in it just to protect my hair, and of course, the color toning of my blonde. Okay, so as mentioned, this goes for $33 as well, um, and this again has half the amount of product as these two. So this one states that it is a weightless leave-in mist that detangles, smooths, and provides heat protection while restoring natural movement, manageability, and shine. So again, that's pretty much, you know, a well-rounded description of what a tangle spray should say on the back. And the key benefits is it hydrates, straightens, and smooths, and of course, heat protection. And also, if you look on the Sephora website, um, all of Drunk Elephant products do have that little kind of emblem, the clean at Sephora with the green check mark. And if you're unsure what that means, um, you can look at the whole list and it tells you everything that is stated that is clean at Sephora, what it doesn't have and what it's not formulated with. But I just kind of wrote down a couple things. So all three of these products are, are formulated without sulfates, parabens, formaldehydes, phthalates, silicones, dyes, essential oils, and alcohols. So I really like that. I love something that is clean. I mean, nowadays we don't need all of that stuff with all the parabens and silicones in it. I do like the way that the hair care and the cosmetic industry is kind of shifting to more clean products. And as you look on Sephora, you see more and more and more things that do have that green check mark, which is clean at Sephora. So love that. So that pretty much concludes everything about the product descriptions. Um, so just to kind of give you guys a little heads up, um, this is kind of the full day two without washing my hair. So I did wash my hair, not yesterday, but the day before. And I find I can't go longer than this because as you can see, like it's starting to get pretty, pretty greasy under there. And when I woke up today, I just left my hair exactly how it was. Um, I didn't straighten it. I just kind of like put a brush through it because I was just home doing nothing. I was just kind of lounging around with Joseph. Yeah, my hair has definitely seen um, its better days. Yeah, like all under there. It's starting to get all like greasy and weird and kind of wavy. So I am excited to go try these products out. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go hop in the shower and I think I'm going to straighten my hair when I come out because that's how I usually wear my hair all the time anyway and I find when I straighten my hair I can really find out if a product made my hair like with more buildup or if it feels a little bit more oily and everything like that so yeah I'm gonna go get a shower and I will come back once my hair is washed and straightened and I'm ready for the day not that I'm gonna be doing much anyway just pretty much sitting in my living room yeah so I'm gonna go try these products out and I will come back and let you know what I think I am back and as you can see my hair is freshly washed, dried, and styled. I just ran the straightener through it. I put on um, a little bit of casual makeup because as you guys know, while you were stuck at home, if you spruce yourself up just a little bit and do your hair, it makes the world of a difference of how you feel um, from day to day. So that's what I did even though I am not going anywhere today. But okay, I have a couple of things um, to say about the products that I have been using. Okay, so obviously um, I went in with shampoo first and the first thing that I noticed was the color while pouring it out. It is completely clear and transparent. Um, I'm not going to show you guys because I have like nowhere to really drop this. But it's literally just, it looks exactly like clear shampoo. Which is nice because obviously it doesn't have any dyes or anything like that. So 
that didn't bother me at all. I kind of liked that it was a little bit clear. But then the next thing I noticed um, while I was starting to lather it in my hair was the smell. It doesn't have like a super strong smell, but I noticed it took me a little while to kind of figure out what the smell really reminded me about. But it almost smells like if you start chopping up almonds, like but almost like sweet almonds. So it's almost like a natural smell of almonds, but a little bit sweeter. So that was okay. I didn't mind the smell. I'm a fan of sweet smells. So that I didn't mind it too much. So I kind of liked that there was a little bit of a smell. It kind of just helps everything feel a little bit more cleaner and it makes the like experience of washing your hair with shampoo a little bit more enjoyable if there is a little bit of a scent like for me anyway so that's the second thing I noticed about this I didn't mind that too much and it really did lather quite well I mean I had to go in like first I would wet my hair and then I'd put a little bit into the top but then I noticed the bottom really like under here wasn't getting so much of it so I just put a little bit more on my hands and I went in and I just kind of like mixed it through the back of my hair that way so it did it did lather quite well like it was like a normal shampoo um, I would say it did lather a little bit less than like a normal drugstore shampoo but that's probably because this has all clean ingredients in it okay so it rinsed out pretty well the only thing that I noticed after I rinsed out the shampoo is it did feel kind of like matted and like I don't know not as smooth how it would normally feel if you just rinsed out like fresh shampoo in the shower it wasn't a big deal because I knew I was going in with conditioner anyway, but it did feel a little bit more matted and, you know, like a little bit less soft before I put the conditioner in. Again, not that it matters too much because I did know I was going in with conditioner, but that was just something that I did notice. Okay, so after I rinsed that out, I went in with the conditioner. So the conditioner, it's white. Um, I don't know if you can see, I can just kind of squirt a little bit out here, but it is quite white, um, just like a normal conditioner. And the smell on this is much more stronger than the smell of the shampoo. It has the exact same smell, but you can smell like the sweet almonds a lot more in here, probably because it's more concentrated because it is conditioner. It's not like a see-through liquid like the shampoo. But I can see how this could be sickening to some people because it is so sweet and the, the smell is a lot stronger that even I, who like sweet smells, I could... I can see myself getting a little bit sick of the smell of this just because it is so sweet and it is so like almondy but again it's not really it doesn't really bother me that much I mean like I said I do prefer a scent in shampoo and conditioner versus no scent so that didn't bother me that much and again like after I rinsed this out um, I noticed that your hair doesn't have as much slip to it like other products when you rinse out the conditioner so like just for example if you take any other conditioner I don't know whatever one you use and you really build it in there and you wait a couple minutes and you rinse it out it almost feels like butter and like silk like it's so slippery to touch but this one had less of that effect I mean it was still soft and it was still conditioned but it had less of that nice silky slippery touch that normal conditioners would you know make your hair feel like so that is again something that I noticed about this it's not a big issue but if you're somebody who really likes that deep nourishing saturation of conditioner where you really feel that slip then I don't know if you're going to like this as much because it doesn't give you that same I guess level of effect Okay, so then obviously afterwards I got out of the shower. I never added any more products to my hair. I just towel dried my hair and then I just went in with this. Normally I would use other hair care products like a blow drying cream or some sort of a protectant cream that I would like put in before that and then I would go in with some sort of a spray or like a balm. But I literally just used this one because I wanted to see exactly how these products performed. So the first thing that I noticed about this is that the scent is the same level I guess as the shampoo. So it wasn't as strong as the conditioner but you can smell that sweet almondy smell. The same I guess kind of strongness as the shampoo. And after I was done spraying it in and I took a wet brush and started brushing through my hair um, it didn't get rid of the tangles as well as other things that I have noticed and used. So I mean it did get the tangles out like 
quite a bit, but you would really have to use a lot more product than just a couple of sprays if you really want your hair to feel really detangled and you really want to just get the brush through without really working it through. So that's what I noticed anyway. Um, again, that's not a big deal and it could be because all these products again are clean ingredients without the harmful ones in there like silicones or anything like that. But I have used other clean um, you know, like shampoos, sprays, things like that, and they did give me more of a nourishing or a detangling effect than this one. One thing that when I was in the shower I did notice, I noticed one of my products, um, the Redken All Soft Conditioner. Um, I do reach for this every so often or when I want something different, but I noticed um, how much product was in this. So this has 8.5 fluid ounces, and these guys have 8 fluid ounces. So you actually get 0.5 more product in one of these guys than you do one of the Junk Elephant shampoo or conditioners. So as I was getting to think about that, I did think, okay, so obviously for this, just the conditioner, it's not $33 for a Redken conditioner with 0.5 more more product. Like you can get a box set of this and the shampoo for like 25 bucks. But literally when I was thinking about that, I was like, oh, like that is kind of pricey. So keep that in mind. I did pay $33 each for one of these so it would be like 66 bucks for the shampoo and the conditioner combo and then another 33 if you wanted to add in the spray so once I was done with that I towel dried my hair and like I said I put the spray in and then I came out and I started blow drying my hair with a wet brush so I did notice that my hair did feel a little bit more drier when wet and as I was blow drying it I did have to use my brush a lot more to kind of feel the softness in my hair. So when my hair was completely dried, um, my hair did, like I said, feel a little bit less soft um, than when I use my everyday normal shampoo, conditioner, or when I try other things. It did have a little bit of a less soft um, touch to my hair, even though you can't really see it. Um, I will give it credit that it does have some shine, so if you can kind of see um, my hair is a little bit shiny, so I will give it that. It did make my hair like it did give it a shine without me having to use another additional product which was good but after I straightened my hair I did notice like even as I notice right now my hair isn't as soft as it normally is and I mean I don't know if that's just the ingredients in it or what but I feel like I can feel the ends of my hair are a little bit more drier than normal um, yeah so I feel like I wouldn't be able to get as much use of not washing my hair as much with these guys if that makes any sense so if I compare these guys to another shampoo that I did buy from Sephora and I actually did a video on this um, it was actually one of my first YouTube videos so if you were brave enough to watch the cringe you can definitely um, visit the link I will put in the description below if you want to go see my review on the Briogeo be gentle be kind matcha and apple superfood shampoo and I also had the conditioner and the risotto milk at that time. So in the shampoo in here you get 12.5 fluid ounces so that's definitely more than the 8 fluid ounces that you get in the Drunk Elephant. And when I use this I actually really really liked it. Um, I loved the smell. This made my hair feel very light and clean and really soft. Um, I remember the conditioner was really nourishing and it did give me more of that slip and I felt like it made my overall hair feel very light and clean. And even the risotto milk, like I love that as well. It made my hair very slippery and very like it detangled like as opposed to this one. I would say so I did actually like the Briogeo line more than this drunk elephant one right here and I mean I'm not saying anything bad about this I'm just saying that I did find little differences and that I would like more in other products than these guys and I mean will I continue using these yes of course there's absolutely nothing wrong with them and they are good for your hair because they are clean ingredients but I do have other preferences such as the Briogeo line of hair care um, I, I'm obviously going to use up like use these up because I did pay for them I paid over a hundred dollars for all three products so I am going to be using these up but will I ever be repurchasing this line I cannot see myself doing so because like I said I like other things more so I will not be repurchasing these ones but I will be using them up 
the best thing for me to say is if you think that you are interested in these guys, I would try them out for yourself because everybody's hair is different, everybody looks for different things in their hair care products and their hairlines. So just because what I'm saying from my experience doesn't mean that you're not going to have like a super great one. And it's not that I had a bad one, like these are just kind of like mediocre for me. They didn't they didn't have a bad effect, but they didn't have like a super super great effect either. They were just kind of like in the middle and for me to pay $33 a bottle, like I am looking for a little bit more I guess oomph in a product than just staying at the mediocre line. So that is the reasoning behind my review and why I won't be repurchasing these but by all means there's nothing wrong with them it's just I look for a little bit more effect in my products especially when I'm paying the price that they are. Alright so that kind of concludes my review on the Drunk Elephant and Chris McMillan line. Um, like I said, I only did try the three products. Don't forget that there is another product, the um, scalp scrub, that I have not tried. So you might be interested in that. Um, it really wasn't my thing, so that's why I didn't pick it up. So if you liked this video or if you thought it was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Every little bit helps my channel out so much. And of course, if you want to see more by me, just hit that subscribe button. I just want to thank you guys so, so much for all the support you've given me so far. It truly means a lot. And I will be seeing you guys in my next one. Bye!